I guess the last question I really have, and it's something that like I think you're going to just knock out the park because this is kind of what you talk about a lot, but what should organizations be doing to future-proof their supply chain in this new normal? If there's one step that they can do, if they hear this and they're like, you know what, we, we, we survived it, we, we got through it, but it, this is a new world we're living in. What should they be doing to kind of get ready for all of it? Uh. I think the cloud is uh, is the big um, the big trend in in software. Like a few years ago, I'm like, you know, a internet is patchy and and unreliable. Therefore, you can't use the cloud. Uh, and what's the value? It just seems to be making software more expensive. So instead of buying it and kind of owning it, you know, now I've, now you want me to pay for it every month. I was like, man. But, but what was actually happening, the software business model was being destroyed because people were discounting the software so cheaply that it was virtually, there was no money in actually in the software business anymore. So the legacy systems could kind of cope because they were getting maintenance fees and things and they had a massive installed user base. So they were still making money. But for new entrants into the market, it just became, uh, it just became ridiculous. But I think now what is actually very, very clear, A, the internet around the world is, is just getting better and better. Um, so cloud becomes much more viable. People have kind of got over the security uh, concerns, although those are still legitimate, right? So those are definitely still in- important. But what I think the cloud gives you is uh, easy connectivity in a way that was is just not possible with on-premises software. So, and, and by connectivity, I mean for business-to-business trading because, you know, we talked about EDI and business trading years and years ago. But in the overwhelming majority of business-to-business transactions, it's I send you a PDF purchase order that got printed out of my ERP system. Someone keys it into a you know an order entry system, right? Prints out a packing slip and goes and picks it from the warehouse, and then take, and people sign for it, right? That's that's how B two B works now. But so we, what happened to EDI? Like where's all the electronic trading? I mean, with big retailers, yes, that certainly happens in Australia, right? And I'm sure it's the same in the US. Right. But a, a whole host of other, it's like outside of retail, no, nah, it's not there. <laughs> so what the cloud does, the cloud, if everyone was in the cloud, essentially you could do all of your electronic ordering and invoicing and all of that stuff, all of the paper just simply disappears from the system. The, 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 the friction gets removed. So I think that the case for cloud software that what's often kind of referred to as digital transformation within businesses generally that's just getting increasingly compelling for everybody and you're now seeing the big legacy systems all moving to the cloud you know oracle and netsuite and like that's where they're all they're all the big systems now going there i'm I'm not sure about sat you know big sat is probably still an on-premises thing and they connect that up but but I think that's where the future is. And for the little guy, for the small business, like I said before, that the ability for you to build an, a, a very sophisticated and connected ERP system, like business system, from your web store to your inventory management, warehouse management, carrier systems, CRMs and help desks and, and anything you can possibly think of, business reporting and technology, you, you put that at set of applications together yes that will cost you now a bit of money on a monthly uh, level but you will have a more sophisticated business technology platform than most large businesses so so uh, you know i just think that the case for uh moving to the cloud now is just is just a slam dunk no-brainer and everybody needs to be there <laughs> 